Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Vors, coming to you from our Miked Up set. Last Thursday and Friday, we aired a couple of Vortex episodes that generated more than 50,000 hits and sparked a blog and combox controversy. The topic was the Catholic establishment media and why they never talk about problems in the church. You know, the big name guys. Well, to quote the Holy Father from World Youth Day, go out and make a mess. What he meant by that was to shake things up in the church. He even told bishops to start looking at things differently. Get out from under those structures they've been so beholding to for so long and get with the program. You know, it's natural for every human organization to develop a fossilized way of doing things and approaching problems. And one reason this happens is because after a while, if an organization becomes successful, it develops the desire to protect itself and perpetuate itself. So the original mission can sometimes become not necessarily lost, but just sort of forgotten about or sidelined. This is just human nature, fallen human nature, but human nature nonetheless. It's just how we are. It's one reason why, when we look around the church today, we see so many problems. There's a lot of self-interest and turf protecting, and the original mission is suffering because of it. This is, in a nutshell, in general, what the Holy Father is talking about, this attitude which cripples the spreading of the gospel. So when someone points out that the emperor has no clothes, well, there are plenty of people who don't want that message gaining traction because they are allied with the emperor. And depending on how great a threat they perceive the whistleblower to be, they will attack with varying degrees of intensity. You know, there's an old expression that if the pig squeals, it means you hit the target. These Vortex episodes from last week have apparently hit a target, struck a nerve, which is why there was such a massive response to them. We aren't saying anything that lots of people don't already know, but we are saying it. And there are many who simply don't like it being said, as one archdiocesan official told me earlier this year. But there are also many things which most people don't know about in the state of affairs in the church these days. Things like what happens to you when you challenge the establishment. And that's going to be the topic of this Wednesday night's Miked Up program at 8 p.m. Eastern. That's why we're coming to you from the Miked Up set. We're going to reveal, for the first time ever, publicly, much of what we know and have kept quiet about for years. This is not an attempt to smear anyone, but the truth is the truth, and it's high time the record was set straight. Why are we doing this? Because as long as the turf protecting and politics of personal destruction is allowed to go on behind the scenes, then the church's mission will be hampered even more. A quiet campaign of smearing and denouncing people, destroying reputations with a wink and a nod, and framing discussions in such a way and arranging the facts in a certain particular order so as to create a certain impression that isn't true but nonetheless serves the purpose of the establishment, all this is massively injurious to the church, is a grave offense against justice as well as charity. So, this Wednesday night, again, 8 p.m., live, Eastern Standard Time. Click on the link that you see on this page for details on how to watch and tune in. This is the show that will begin to, in detail, unmask the deceptions and dirty tactics of how many in the establishment operate and the various actions they take and weapons they employ. Victims of this sort of wickedness have had to sit back and endure this for too long. And now, with the widespread availability of the internet, which cannot be controlled by the establishment, there is now a vehicle for responding. So again, please join us Wednesday night, September 4th, 8 p.m. Eastern, live. We will be taking your calls as well. Tune in for Miked Up. Too many good people have been trashed and harmed and marginalized by those who operate like they are the elite in the church. The virtue of justice demands a response, all part of just following the orders of the Holy Father to go out there and make a mess. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.